Jacob here. So I am in Koh Tao uh, on the Gulf Coast of Thailand um, and I just wanted to do a little review of a new piece of gear that I bought before this trip. Um, so I really wanted to do something more minimalistic for this trip um, since Thailand's a lot of jumping off of long tail boats and um, you know just riding around on scooters and not really uh, it's just not really the best place for a roller type carry-on so I really wanted to try and do a one bag style trip and so I started researching watched some other YouTube videos and um, I come across uh, the Peak Designs travel bag a 45 liter bag this bag is incredible all right so I actually moved it outside because the lighting's a little bit better I noticed the foam was having a difficult time with the contrast on the inside so back to the bag um, this is the Peak Designs uh, travel bag. This is a 45 liter bag. Um, now, let you take a good look at it. I'm going to show some close-ups of some different pieces in a second and some of my favorite features. Um, but first, I want to say something. Um, I actually come across Peak Designs uh, a little while ago. Um, they make unbelievable camera accessories and, and different camera equipment camera bags things of that nature um, the first piece I actually got from them uh, was a, a camera strap and um, they use these quick release designs that they had that's amazing and I, I knew it was really good quality um, but once I found their line of bags um, I, I was just blown away at the quality and attention to detail and there's a bird the attention to detail by a company like Peak Designs is very, just, I mean, it, it's spectacular, very innovative, um, and you can tell a lot of engineering really goes into these bags. They are pricey, but you get what you pay for in this case. So let's go ahead and get to it. Okay, so I just want to start with the basics. Um, 45 liter bag. This bag can be used as just a camera bag. Um, so if you're, you know, a professional photographer or you have a decent amount of camera gear, this bag would work great for you um it, it they actually make a lot of different accessories so they make um packing cubes that go for it um camera dividers um for lenses things of that nature um i got it for travel so i actually did not get any of the camera accessories um and i i haven't upgraded to the uh, packing cubes yet I am actually just using my REI packing cubes, but you can get an idea of the size of this packing cube. This is a large, I fit one large, one medium, and some other uh, other miscellaneous stuff in the core of this bag. So there, there's plenty of room, as you can see. Um, I'll show you in a minute. This bag is made out of a really, really tough material. Um, so it feels very, very durable. I can tell you it is durable. Uh, on this trip, I have actually had to uh, check this bag a couple times now I checked it because uh, not because of the size it, it perfectly uh, is within most carry-on limits but actually because of the weight um, I am carrying some camera gear and some tripods and things of that nature so my bag is over the weight limit for some of the uh, Asian uh, uh, smaller airlines for what their carry-on limit is that being said, this bag, I have checked it, and you can actually see it. it's, it's got a little scuffs on it, a little dust, um, but this thing's been thrown around, tossed around. Um, I am, you know, almost three weeks into this trip now, and, I mean, it virtually looks perfect. Um, so it is very tough, very durable. This bag should last a lifetime. I mean, this bag, it, it is a very tough, very well-made bag. That is one downside though, is the, the thickness of the material um, and the durability of it does cause it to weigh a decent amount. So the bag does have some weight itself, 
Um, but you know that, that that comes with the territory of having a heavier duty, a thicker bag that will truly protect your gear and will last a lifetime. I'm gonna make this as quick as I can. So it has one large giant compartment, as you can see. So it's just basically one huge open compartment that opens up kind of clamshell style like that. So this is actually what goes up against your back when you're carrying it, and this is the front of the pack. So huge, large clamshell style opening. Um, in here, all of this, this piece here can actually zip and roll down. So you can roll this piece all the way down. So actually, if you open the front, which I'm gonna show you, if you open the front, you can actually get directly into the main part of the bag. So you can actually see my hand here. See my hand? Yes, you can see my hand here. So you can actually unzip this, roll it down, and just have one huge compartment that you can get in. Um, I do keep this, I keep this rolled up because I like having um, the divider in the space. Just show you kind of some of the dividers. It has a divider up here on the front, a divider down here, another divider up here, another divider down here. So this is just in your front pocket. So basically, one front pocket, one big huge main pocket. Other little things on the inside. So you have a um, laptop holder here. There's also a spot for a tablet, iPad, something like that. Um, perfect little, perfect little spot there for that. Um, that's basically it for the inside of the bag. I mean, the inside of the bag is, it, it, it's basic. It is um, everything you need, nothing you don't. Um, big, huge center compartment, and then your outer compartment. Um, the, the other pockets, the, the only other pockets on the bag, I'm gonna show you right now. One little pocket here, felt lined, great for like sunglasses, something like that. I, I do throw, throw my sunglasses in there. It has two water bottle pockets, one on each side here, okay? And then my favorite pocket on this entire bag is right here. It's a hidden pocket, check this out. You, you look at this, you think, oh, it's a regular water bottle pocket, nothing major, check this out. Right here, see this? That's a hidden pocket, okay? So, check this out, zipper, well bam. Literally, you can't even tell it's there hardly. I put my passport in here, and this perfect closes up. It's easily accessible, so when I'm going through the airport, I can bam, unzip this, grab my passport out, but also, it's not easily accessible, so somebody can just easily come up, unzip it, grab my passport, and take off. Um, it's To me, it's a perfect little hidden pocket. Uh, they have it on both sides, I love that. Um, so let me get to some of the other main features of this bag. Um, so it, it, it comes around to the, the, the part that goes up against your back. This is the number one feature of this bag, and that is, as you can see, there's no straps hanging off this bag right now. It looks like a duffel bag, right? There's handles on the side, handles on the top, handle on the bottom. No straps, though, right? Wrong. Check this out. Okay, this is an innovative magnet style design that the straps hide away in, okay? The straps actually hide away behind this. See this? Okay, so let me show you. Well, bam. So these are your two straps, shoulder straps. It also has built-in hip belts. Check this out. Hip belts are actually perfect. They're decent, they're substantial, but if you don't want to use them, done, okay? I actually never use the hip belts. Uh, I've got this thing, like I said, packed out too, and honestly, I've not carried it long enough distance to use the hip belts, but they're there if you need them. But the biggest reason why I love this is going back. I have had to check this bag. Um, it is so nice to have to check this bag, just tuck these in, which it's really simple. Just tuck it in and bam. I've seen videos online where people act like it's very difficult. It, very simple to do once you get the hang of it. Watch. You literally do this, tuck it in. Very simple to do, but you can literally tuck this in and then you have this st streamlined bag 
with straps that aren't going to get caught, that aren't going to, you know, get sucked up into a conveyor belt and ripped off. Um, so I just really like this. There's been so many, and even there's been times where, um, you know, I just, uh, I'm jumping on a ferry or something, and I want to be able to just throw this around, throw it up under my seat, and I tuck those straps in really quick, um, and that way it's streamlined, you know, minimalistic. Really, really love that feature. It's really why I bought this bag on top of everything else. I love this feature. There are other bags on the market that have similar designs, but nothing is, in my opinion, as efficient and effective as this particular designs by, uh, as this particular design by Peak Designs. Um, another little strap here that is actually to go down if you were carrying this in conjunction with say a roller suitcase um, this can go on top of your suitcase over your handle like that a couple other features about this pack that I want to go over if you are looking at the front of the pack here and you look down at the bottom it looks pretty minimalistic sleek check this out more magnets okay now there's room up here. I've actually put my rain jacket up here, um, things like that. Um, there's plenty of room. You can see how high up my hand goes. Really, really cool pocket. But I actually have the rain cover. This is the Peak Designs rain cover that is made specifically for this bag. Um, it actually connects to these little connectors here um like that so it's not going anywhere you just unzip it throw it over the bag being in thailand we're right here on the edge of rainy season um needed some way to cover my bag this rain cover is perfect um it is a little pricey but it matches fits perfectly is actually really nice quality um has nice peak designs minimalistic logo on there but it looks really good um so anyway i love that feature and it's just so cool that it just tucks right back up in there so if that rain cover gets wet rainy you don't have to roll it up and put it into your dry bag you can stick it right there it's all on the outside and some final touches here um so one thing peak designs does that um, I, I love about this bag is um they really do some big things with the zippers um first of all if you check this out this is a huge zipper that is waterproofed for the main zipper okay i mean these this this is a huge zipper very very tough very heavy duty okay you actually can undo that piece right there it's like a little button and you can wrap it around the other one it's kind of like a safety net so if somebody can't just come up and grab it and unzip your bag you can put those around each other i actually do use a little um tsa approved um, lock around my main um zipper here but every zipper on this bag so check these out check these out even check these out um and this guy every zipper is actually um has a different pull tab now i know that may not sound like a big deal but it is really cool because once you kind of you know kind of find your way around this bag and you get used to it you can literally tell which zipper you're grabbing by how it feels and looks because every zipper looks different um, and that's just really cool okay speaking of zippers going back to the inside of the bag this bag actually has zippers up the side now this is so you can throw it over your side undo it grab a lens out something like that it doesn't really um it's not very effective zipper if you're using it travel bag style like i am so i was like well i don't want somebody just to be able to come up and and you know yank this zipper and get into the interior of my bag um which i'm gonna show you what that would look like right here this is the zipper okay I was like, I don't, I don't want somebody to come up and be able to just ooh, yank that zipper, get into the interior of my bag. Peak Designs literally thought of it all. On the inside of the bag, you can see up here at the top. You see this? This is the zipper from the other side. They have a tab that you can actually hook the zipper into, and it literally is flush mounted, like, like so, up under this little hood you can't get to it there's no way you could get to it just a really cool security feature um, if you're not using these um, side zippers which i do not use currently um, you can tuck them in there safe out of the way that's just another piece of engineering that peak designs thought about when they were designing this bag one of the coolest things about it um, i've actually not used this feature very much 
but um, it is there and I want to make sure you guys know about it. This bag can actually be expanded or taken in. So the, the capacity, the interior capacity can be increased or decrease depending on what you're um, you know what you're using the bag for and that sort of thing so if you want to decrease the bag and make it look more like a, a day pack that sort of thing um, they had this really cool design on the inside you see this button here and this button you actually can take and you you, you connect you you basically snap the buttons together okay and it gives the bag this more slim look. See that? So now all of a sudden you have a more um, day pack looking bag um, that's perfect for just getting around the city, um, something like that. But then, you know, if you wanna, you just undo it and bam, you're back to a full size travel bag. So that's one way that you can decrease it. Now, let me show you how you can increase it. All right, down here on the bottom of the bag, here and here, two zippers. These are expanders. So you basically do this and bam, okay? You can expand your volume. Um, I actually, this entire trip, I've kept these uh, fully closed. I've kept this bag at its, at its standard size. Um, and I left that so, you know, if I needed to, you know, buy a couple souvenirs or gifts for family back home, I knew I had that extra room that I could open it up and make sure to, uh, to get everything I need back home to the States. Um, there are lashing points, things like that. Um, I'm sure I'm missing stuff. This bag has tons of features, literally. All right. Last, last, last feature. Um, I hate how when bags have sternum straps, they have a piece hanging off on the right and a piece hanging off on the left. And every time you throw the bag around, you just have these dangling pieces. Peak Designs thought of a really cool design on this. They actually, they don't use a, like a, a clip. They just use a piece that connects like this, okay? So it's a really, really well thought out chest strap. It's adjustable, but whenever you're done, you can just take this off you can connect it back into the opposite side and you only have it on one side. Um, so that's just another little thing that I love too. Overall, uh, this bag has tons of features, tons of engineering designs, um, tons of things that, uh, you know, Pink Designs really knocked it out of the park on. And I think this is the best single bag travel bag out there. Um, I did a lot of research, watched a lot of reviews. Um, I even bought some other bags that I tried out before this um, that I may end up doing some reviews on as well. Um, not that they're bad, but this one's really good. Um, I will say for the quality of this bag, you will pay for it. Um, I actually got this bag from REI for um, $300, $299 retail, but I did get the 20% off one full priced item. So, you know, that actually made it a lot sweeter deal. Um, I was not mad at all about that price. Um, this bag I anticipate will last me forever. Um, and so it's, it's one of those things that I definitely didn't mind putting the investment in. So if you guys are in the market for a travel bag and or a really high end camera bag that's gonna protect your gear, um, tons of features, if that's the market that you're in, if this is, this is the type of bag that you're looking at, trust me, look no more, this is the bag you want. This is the bag, this is the end all be all bag. It has every feature, every design. Peak Designs literally, um, in my opinion, they thought of damn near everything you could think of when it comes to making the perfect bag. And this is it, in my opinion. This is the Peak Designs Travel Bag 45 liter. Um, check it out. I'll put a link in the description down below and you guys feel free to um, you know, buy one, buy 10, uh, but do yourself a favor, check out Peak Designs as a company, check out this Peak Designs travel bag, and thank you guys very much for watching.